In this tutorial, we'll have a look at some of the approaches you can use to make your code easier to read. And easier to read means easier to find mistakes, and it usually means getting your robot working faster. And trust me, if you ever come back to a program that you wrote long ago and try to make sense of it, these are some tips you'll appreciate. We'll be looking at the use of sub-VIs, comments, as well as the align and cleanup diagram tools. Here's a program that I've written to display the sensor values on all four sensor input ports. I've just used the default sensors and you'll notice I've converted the value coming in on the touch sensor to a number to make displaying it work the same as all the other inputs. One of the first things to notice about this code is that large chunks of it are repeated. For each port we're taking a sensor value, converting it to a string, and then we're adding the description onto it, and then we're displaying that result onto a line that we specify on the screen. So it's the same process each time, so is there just one way that we can make one block do this, all this work in here? And we can do it using a sub-VI. A sub-VI is effectively a smaller program within another program. As well as making your program easier to read, sub-VIs are a good way of structuring complex programs by providing smaller testable chunks of code. A sub-VI can even be run as a program on its own, which means that it can be tested separately, so arguably I should have included them in the previous tutorial on debugging. Uh, but let's have a look at how to create one. So in this case I'm going to use this section here and I'm just going to move everything out of the way that I want to have coming uh, into the sub-VI and so I don't want to actually specify the sound sensor or this bit of text or this line input um, but I do want those things being fed into the sub-VI so I've just selected all of these sections here and then we'll go up to the edit menu and choose create sub-VI and you'll see that now our code is replaced by this block now if you try to save this program so for example if I go file save you'll see that we get a message that uh, this program refers to a new unsaved or refers to new unsaved files and we must save these files so it's referring to this sub-VI this needs to be saved as a separate .VI file and so we can say yes we'll save that we now need to come up with a name for it and I'm going to call this display variable so now if I want to edit this sub-VI I can double click on this and it will open up a new window and the front panel you'll see has all of the inputs and outputs for our previous program and now let's have a look inside this I'll do Control E or you can do Window Show Block Diagram and you can see I've got all of these things coming into and out I've got my pink NXT wire and I'll just tidy that up a little bit uh, and you can also see where we've got our text coming in, our line is specified, the sound coming in and so forth. So you can see the structure looks the same as what we had before um, but now all of this is represented down here in our code. There's a few other things we can change. We can just change this icon by double clicking up here and that brings up the icon editor and so often I like to just uh, take remove whatever was here already and put in some uh, text and I'm going to call this display or display doesn't fit so I'll call it disp variable or var and I'll OK that and so now that's what my icon looks like and the other thing we can do if we go back to that front panel and we click on show uh, right click on this icon in the top right hand corner and then select show connector we can actually see where each of the inputs and outputs are for this particular icon now I would like to change uh, which of these inputs and outputs are connected into which terminals on here so I'm actually going to use uh, one of these patterns uh, I'd like something with three columns so I can keep my line input in the center and I would like oh, I would like this one right here I think so but I want to change it so the pink wire coming in is in that top left hand corner so in fact I think what I'll just do is disconnect all the terminals 
And now if I click on one of these terminals and then click on one of these uh, controls over here, you'll see now that's wired in to that place on the icon. And that can go to the output NXT. My line can go into the middle one. Uh, I'll take my text description into the middle on the left and bottom on the left will go to that sensor value. Now I want to change some of these descriptions. It doesn't need to be sound anymore. Uh, so this can just be the variable that's uh, being input or the value being inputted. Um, so in fact that should probably just say value and the text can be my description. And the other thing I will do is I'll change the line to default to 1 so that a 1 in there in this control will make that the um, the default value and the convention usually is that we put the default value in brackets on the description and you'll see why we do that in a moment. So now if I close this it'll ask me to save it so let's do that. And you'll see now my blocks actually you can see it there but it's faded out so we actually need to right click on that and choose relinked relink to sub VI because I changed those terminals around that changed those inputs. If I hold this over the, the middle here you'll see line and in brackets 1 so the default setting uh, is indicated there but that's just a convention it doesn't actually force it. Um, now you see all these wires around here are looking a little bit messy so what I can actually do is just select all of this and choose this option here clean up selection okay and we have the uh, we have that looking a little bit neater than it was before. And next I want to replace each of these other three chunks with that my block. So uh, a few ways of doing this, but I'm just going to drag all of those blocks that I'm going to replace in here. And then I'm going to copy the display variable block. And I'm just going to redo all of this wiring manually. And then I'll go through and do that for the other blocks as well. Uh, now I don't know if I mentioned this before in an early tutorial but you often get these broken wires around the place um, just in case I didn't mention that before or as a reminder to get rid of those you can press Control B and also the other thing I would like to do is just tidy up this whole code so if I select the whole thing or in fact I don't even have to select the whole thing if I go up to clean up diagram it will make the whole thing look much uh, more compact and arguably tidier um, I find this layout a little bit too compact, so um, I prefer to spread it out a little bit more than this. Um, one thing that you can do, which is quite nice, is if I just collect all these blocks that are sort of through the center here, and choose a line by, say, their top edges, and then I could do the same thing for uh, these modifiers, and I could do the same thing, or a similar thing, Maybe I'll align the centers on those. So the Align Objects tools are pretty useful for obviously lining up uh, different objects in your block diagram. And similarly, there's a Distribute Objects, which can space objects out evenly. So here's an example from the last tutorial. And uh, this is just to highlight how I've used the words up here to describe what's going on in the program, which I found very useful coming back to this program after a year. Uh, just let me know what was going on very quickly. So here, goals detected. If not, then dribble the ball and follow the line. And then this um, is about the dribbler and following the line. And then in here, um, the goals are detected, so pause for a moment to control the ball, then shoot a goal. And if I want to add a comment about this uh, waiting for the Enter button on the NXT to be pressed, I can just double click on here, and I might say, uh, wait for uh, Enter. Uh, if I want to go down a line, I can just hit my return key on the keyboard um, to be pressed. And that's, uh, I find this really useful, uh, and I hope you do too.